Hi, I'm Cheryl Benson Guanzi, and I'm a co founder of Edge Out Records. Edge Out Records is an incubator label in partnership with Universal Music Group. It's our goal at Edge Out Records to discover and sign young up and coming talent that'll be the next movement of rock stars in our generation. Our development program at Edge Out is called The Studio, and you can learn more about it on our website. Well, the most important thing for me is I look for a band that has a sound that I call uniquely familiar. And what that means is that the sound identity of this band, let's say for instance you're an alternative rock band with psych and pop influences in your music, then you would have some familiar sound of those psychedelic rock bands from the past that would be pulled into your music. For instance, your guitar tones and your vocals should really reflect those identities that are established within those genres. When you're in the rock world, that is the main genre. So you have hybrids off of that, which is alternative rock and active rock. That's pretty much the two ways you go right now. Within alternative rock, for example, you have a bunch of subgenres that can be Southern rock, psych rock, blues rock, pop rock, glam rock. These all lead into a form of active rock too, depending on how heavy you go with the distortions on the guitar and the distortions on or slap back on the vocals. It just depends on the setup of how you play that music and how it would be genrefied from there. Well, once we identify a band sound, then the key elements there is to write properly structured music within those subgenres in that sound. So guitar tones are key for that. Signature vocals are key for that. Proper arrangements that enhance these are keys and obviously lyrics and creating the right hooks from guitar tones to obviously lyrical hooks are incredibly important in that as well. Lyrics are really important these days. I always say less is more, simple but clever, and creating repetition. So we were born out of nursery rhymes and limericks and things like that that had a lot of repetition, rhyming, and sonnet poetry. You know, are you A-A-B-B -B or A-B-A-B? And this is the way writers have to write to be able to have people catch and more importantly, what is this song about and what do you remember about it? And that's the lyrical hook. And that's really born out of repetition. So repeating the same word. And less is more, like I said. Don't be too metaphorical. Being overly metaphorical makes people not understand really what's going on here. And I always say, read your lyrics to a 10-year-old and see if they can tell you what the story was about and they can remember at least one word. 